He would have been an amazing um, engineer with all that detail, wouldn't he? He's obviously, you know, just amazing. Imagine Very proud. Incredible work. So uh, now it's time if uh, people would like to say a few words about Con. Um, and uh, I'll start off actually. Um, you may be interested in how he got his name, uh, the name Connell. Uh, when mum was very sick, um, having Con, uh, there was a doctor called John Connell. Uh, I think he worked out at Dalesford, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, oh, you went to go there, Mike. Okay. All right. Uh, and, uh, and when he, he saved mum's life, uh, mum and dad wanted to call Connell after him. Uh, now, he... Uh, they, they didn't want to call him John because they'd had a, uh, she'd had a miscarriage earlier and they were going to call that child John, so Connell couldn't be called John. Uh, so they decided to call him Con. Uh, and when they took Con to be um, baptised, the Catholic priest said, oh, you can't have a name on Connell. There's no Saint Connell, so that's not going to be on. And, uh, and Dad said, well, you can call him what you like. We're going to call him Col. <laughs> Good on you. And, and, so, um, and so the priest called him Patrick. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and on his birth certificate, he is Col. Right. So he didn't, uh, he didn't uh, end up with the name Patrick. So that's how he became Col. <laughs> Would anyone like to say a few words? <laughs> oh, yes, I've, I've got stunned. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I've got very fresh memories, even though they're sixty-five years ago. But 
I can picture him so clearly, uh, at just the different times that they would come, you would come to Melbourne and we'd go up there to sail and uh, Ballarat. Um, he was just always getting into mischief and he was always laughing and he was a little devil and my dad used to think he was wonderful because that's what dad loved. You know, he, he loved to... Uh... <laughs> oh, thanks very much, Anna. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just so sorry I didn't get to see him as he grew up. That's, that's all. Yeah. But I, um, I appreciate that we can see what he's been up to anyway. Thank you, Mary. Yes, thanks. Anyone else? David. Okay. Um, so we're nearly out of time. So I'm uh, happy to comment. Oh, someone is. Yes, go ahead. Um, I've never seen anyone so self-reliant, totally self-supporting, totally uh, unwilling to accept help for any reason that he can't do himself. <laughs> and the extremes of what he could do for himself was just mind-boggling. And I think the uh, stuff on the trees was a classic example. Uh, in the neighbourhood, uh, we used to have everyone reporting to each other that Con was up on the top of a ladder balancing in the most precarious position doing something. Everyone was fearful, but knew that he would not accept any help or um, wanted any contact from us. He was just so unbelievably self-sufficient. Mm. Yes, yeah. very true. Thank you, Hunter. Yeah, I, I took those photos of him and saw him doing that. And that tree, uh, basically a, a big branch of it had fallen down into the neighbours over the way, not your side. And so he took it on himself to trim the tree. Mm. And he is hanging what do you think, Hunter? It would have been 20 metres up? It was a terrible drop because it was dropping into the next neighbour down the hill. Remember that? Hunter? He's gone. He's gone. Mary, I was going to say um, that my memories of Con were, of course, mainly as a youngster and uh, uh, like others, uh, we didn't get to see a huge amount of you because um, it seemed to be most of the time you were living down the other end of the state. But then I worked with, uh, with Greg for a while in the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, but uh, as uh, Mum and Dorothy were always very close, uh, we always uh, got to hear about what was happening in the family. And uh, I must admit that uh, when his number came up uh, in the, um, the ballots in uh, the 1960s, uh, I was uh, yeah, a little bit uh, um, just ashamed that he was he got he he got to go and I didn't. Uh, of which I was thankful. But uh, um, then later on, uh, I was uh, yeah, um, I was uh, quite disturbed that unfortunately uh, uh, he'd come off very badly from it. So anyway, uh, I just. I've, I've done work with wood all my life and I still do, but that's absolutely uh, just gobsmacking that stuff that he's done there. It really is fabulous. He gave us some stuff when we called and saw uh, Greg and Dorothy with mum uh, in Bendigo uh, a number of years ago, uh, but I just didn't had no idea of the quality of the work that he did. And that is beautiful stuff. And I'd love to have a piece, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll get one to you, David. That'd be lovely. Yeah, thank you very, very much. Um, but don't don't mourn for Con. He had he had a good life, good. Um, and and he was able to use his skills, um, and uh, he lived to a reasonable age, really, considering the uh, the risks he took, I suppose. Um, <laughs> and um, and you made the most of your life, and that's all we can do, isn't it? Do yeah. what we can with what we've got. Yep. Yeah. Any other comments? Okay, that's great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all so much for coming today. I'll be in touch soon to get one of Con's works to you if you would like one. 
we're going down to Bendigo soon and, and we'll be clearing out a lot of things. And uh, I just have an idea that there are boxes and boxes of material. Uh, mm. We're a little bit uh, oh, concerned, I suppose, about just how much we're going, we're going to find. Um, but that's an adventure for another day. <laughs> uh, and, yeah. Yeah, what I've shown here today is only a small sample, really. Mm. Uh, we've done other furniture too, and uh, turning and carving work. Have a safe and happy Christmas and a healthy new year. Love to you all. Here's the final song. Last one, please, Mike. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for inviting us. That was wonderful. Thank you very much. Oh, before you, before we go though, uh, my uh, Parks family arrived um, at two o'clock, unbeknownst to me, total surprise. Here they are. Oh. And was so we was, I was so thrilled to see them. What Isn't support, that... what support I've got. Yeah, fabulous. It's nice to see you. So it looks like we're spending, spending six hours today, which is good. Good old Good on you guys. Um, which one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Look at Kelly. How was the trip down? Did you fly or how did you get down? Drove. Drove. Oh, three God. hours. Three hours. Gosh. And you had to come through the border, of course, did you? No, no. It's um, New South Wales and ACT are pretty much of a muchness. It's okay. Oh, that's well. That was one thing you'd had to go through all the rigmarole that you other states have to do. That's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ACT is ninety-eight point five percent. Yes. Over twelve. That's good. Mm.